It's Friday morning. What do you want to talk about? Ah, how about drugs and alcohol? <laughs> That's always a good topic. Ay, ay, ay. You know what the problem is with drugs and alcohol is they work in the beginning. Mm. They'll, they'll smother that fire that's burning in within you from from pain and trauma or self hatred or, or or anger or loneliness. They will they will work in the beginning. Oh, but then it just it becomes a monster that grows and grows and grows and takes drugs and alcohol take on a life of their own, and uh, before you know it, they consume you. Ah. I'm inter I'm I'm interviewing uh, Paul Venice from uh, England on, on Monday's podcast, and uh, he's a K1 kickboxing champion. Never lost a fight, but before he became that, he was a raging drug addict <laughs> in uh, the streets of Britain, just menacing people. And he said he said he'd be in a pub after being up for four or five days smoking crack. And the next thing you'd know, he's he's in the middle of a field, miles outside of town, and he just like would come to and be like, "How the hell did I get in this field?" So, uh, my podcast guest Annie, I had on uh, several episodes ago. She was waking up in the hospital two, three times a week towards the end of her run, like not knowing how she got there. And she would pull the IVs out, walk out, get home, pop a couple Xanax, go to work, and, and start partying again. Uh, it's just insanity. Steve Cedarquist, who I interviewed this past Monday, uh, from the HGTV show Flipper Flop, he went from having the nicest house on the block to the scummiest house on the block once he became a meth head. And then he got yours truly. <laughs> I don't want I don't I don't want to be pointing a finger at other people and not at myself. So uh oh cocaine in the beginning was like great. It just took away my insecurities and uh oh made me feel strong and outgoing and, and you know, uh didn't worry about all that trauma when I was doing coke. And then it starts taking over your life and the next thing you know, all you want to do, cocaine is like mental masturbation. All you want to do is lock yourself in your bedroom for eight, ten hours straight, snorting lines and watching porn and masturbating. That's the glamorous side of cocaine. <laughs> Just, I read, I read this book. I can't remember the name of it. It was years ago, but it was a, a big Wall Street executive got addicted to cocaine, and uh, he would, he had wife and children at home, and he said he would just go check into a hotel on a Friday and with a mound of cocaine by himself, not getting hookers or anything, just, and he would do coke and watch porn all weekend long and just sit there by himself masturbating. And he's like, that, that was my life every weekend. So what's starting off as fun as as therapeutic as working for you in the long term it ain't gonna work so i mean i don't know how many stories you need to hear people you're not gonna be any different than the rest of us uh, how i'm alive i don't know paul venice i listened to a podcast of his on he's the guy coming on monday from britain he's like i don't know how i'm alive i did superhuman amounts of drugs so did i I had I had somebody comment. This is a couple of years ago on a post I made about drugs, and uh, the person commented, "There's no way you did that cocktail of drugs; you'd be dead." And my buddy, who unfortunately now is dead, responded to that person. If anything, Clark is underestimating the amount of drugs he was doing. I was there with him; he was doing all that, and probably a lot more that I didn't know about. So, uh, it, it's never enough, you know, uh, addiction grows and grows and grows and takes on a life of its own and will drag you straight to hell or straight to the grave. As in my brother, my brother used alcohol to, uh, cover that dark hole within him and it just took him right to the grave. So come on people, 
man, I want more out of our lives than just locking ourselves in a bedroom for 10 hours straight, masturbating to porn with a mound of cocaine. <laughs> it's, come on, there's got to be more. Uh, or drinking yourself to death or smoking crack to death. or uh, man. Uh, I share, I share with you just to try to wake you up. Maybe, maybe some person who, who's thinking of getting into drugs and alcohol will see this. So it's not going to work in the long term. It's not for any of us. It's impossible. So there, happy Friday. How's that? Drugs, alcohol, masturbation and porn and, and <laughs> cornfields and, and uh, hospital stays and the worst house on the block. That's where drugs will take you. Later.